Hello, my friends of Hatari Labs. This time is Saul Montoya. Um, and I will bring you today um, a case on, on modeling on Frixi about the solubility and thermodynamic stability of gypsum and aditrate with pure water. Okay, so this will this is actually uh, the second case on the Frixi documentation is example number two yeah and first of all let's introduce what is gypsum and what is anhydride because maybe you don't know so gypsum the mineral that looks like this yeah and the formula is calcium sulfate and with two molecules of water okay and then what is anhydride Anhydrite wiki. Anhydrite is a similar mineral on the composition, but it's only sulfate, calcium sulfate only. Okay, so it has no water uh, attached. And what we are going to simulate is how this two minerals are soluble on water, on pure water, depending on the temperature. And this calculation we will do with Frixi, okay? okay. Uh, we have already a tutorial about how to install Frixi on Notepad. So if you, uh, let's see, Hattari Labs, Hattari Labs, uh, no, Frixi Notepad, Let's see how to install Frixi on Notepad. Okay, so you can follow this tutorial and you will end up with a Notepad like this. With that is a Notepad that actually has Frixi inside. It's very, very, very useful. And I hope you you have it. Okay. Cool. First of all, we are going to start by setting a title of our simulation because actually we will we will start with the title that it will be example of temperature dependence on solubility of gypsum and anhydride. This will be our title. But if you see, uh, this seems like any other text file because actually uh, the notepad do not recognize that this is a Frixi file. So in order to for notepad to recognize that this is a Frixi file, we need to save with the Frixi extension. So we will say file, save, and I will do uh, all my let's see i will do on my documents i will say gypsum uh solubility solubility i do a separate solubility 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 okay cool and then inside Gibson solubility, I will put Gibson. Gibson, sorry. Okay. And it will be as Frixi input. So, and then when I insert this, it actually recognizes that this is the keyword title. Okay. After that, we are going to insert the solution. The solution in this case will be pure water. And on the pure water, it comes with a pH of 7 and temperature of 25 degrees. However, these are the default values for pH and temperature when you are dealing with pure water. So actually, you don't have to put it. I mean, you don't need it because it will, the software will, will apply the default values. But since... Uh, since we are dealing with, uh, I mean, if you put it, nothing will happen. 
Okay. So it's okay if you put it or if you don't put it. Okay. So, and then we are going to insert the equilibrium phases. And the equilibrium phases will be gypsum and anhydride. And it's very, very interesting to know that actually gypsum is recognized and anhydride. I mean, you, you don't have to insert the molecular composition, you don't have to insert the, the values, the partition values, and so because if those are already on the database, so you just have to declare, you just have to declare the species that are on pure water, okay? And then we are going to insert the reaction temperature, okay? The reaction temperature will be of from 25 degrees, Celsius degrees, to 75 degrees in 51 steps. So what does it mean? It's, this is actually an array. So it's not only a temperature, but it's a series of temperatures that go from 25 to 75 each degree. OK? Cool. Uh -huh. And the selected output is uh, we are going to have um, a file that is X2 file, and we can change of name if you want, gypsum. Gypsum, gypsum, Up. gypsum, and it will record two things. The first of the first one is the temperature. And the other is the saturation index, okay? But, I mean, we can run it like this, and then in the end, we will have a text file with the results. But since we are very lazy and do, we don't want to read the results and then like to pick and, and put it on the Excel, or like in other, on other plotting software, we are going to make a graph using the software. So we are going to, in order to that, we use the user graph. We will use the keyword user graph to generate a graph from Frixie. And then we are going to Yeah, uh, and I think, uh, 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 yeah, this, I don't know if Frixie is tap sensitive, well, Python is, but I think Frixie is not tap sensitive. Okay, so we have the user graph, and it will be, the heading of the graph will be gypsum anhydride solubility. Yep. Uh, oh, no, 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 because, sorry, this is the headings, this is the x-axis temperature, this is the y-axis gypsum, and the other y-axis is anhydride, sorry. This is the, the title in gypsum anhydride solubility. The x scale will be from 25 to 75 because it's the same temperature distribution. And on the Y scale, it will go from 0, 0, 0.05 to 0, 0.01, okay? Uh, what else? Um, and then we can put the, the values of our axis. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. And... Mm. and 20 points. Somehow it says that it will appear 20 points on your chart, okay? So if we, we save it as Frixie, but then we save, save as, and we save as a that file, yeah? Okay, we save it as a that file, nothing happens, and then we go run, and they said run Frixie on file, and it appears this thing, 
let's say okay cool it has run okay and it appears this as well and the, what does it say actually there are not 20 there are more points mm, mm, let's see i don't know what this 10 and 20 maybe the ah uh, well i have to look at the at the commentation cool what does it say that if you are in temperatures in the in Celsius degrees that goes from 25 to 50 gypsum will precipitate and actually anhydride 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 will dilute will dissolve but when you are reaching temperatures over 55 percent gypsum will dissolve and anhydride will precipitate okay if you see uh well my, my conclusions there are three things the first of all is that uh, the databases consider those minerals and the composition i mean the, the minerals and the properties and the coefficients of these minerals plus uh, the properties of water and then you don't have to do anything else i mean the the software will look up for these values for you second uh, Frixi is capable of doing these plots i mean from the software you don't have to to do uh you don't have to call um like you don't have to i mean you can do it but it's not necessary to open this from excel or something like that and third gypsum and both minerals are very similar but however their properties really depends on the temperature so one mineral will, will dissolve at normal i mean at, at temperature like 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 a uh, normal temperature of 25 degrees but when when and the other mineral won't dissolve i mean gypsum won't dissolve or precipitate while anhydride will dissolve but when you are over 55 degrees anhydride will uh, precipitate and gypsum will dissolve yeah and so you you have this uh, uh like this partition or i don't know how you call it, this duality of the behavior with temperature okay cool my name is Saul Montoya. i belong to hatari labs hatari labs is a very nice initiative in order for the hatari labs hatari labs Hatari Labs is a very nice initiative for the knowledge sharing on open source software and water resources. So, so we are really deep into uh, sharing very interesting things on water on open source software as Frixi. We have courses, we have webinars. Um, well, we don't have any courses yet, but we have webinars on Modflow that you can sign up. Uh, they are free and we have a facebook page and then we have a twitter account and you can follow us that we have our as well in our blog a newsletter where we will share our articles and so on and we hope that everything that we write uh, not everything that most of the things that we write will be helpful for your for your everyday activity okay so please contact if you have any question if you want a tutorial or so on please fill this contact form we will we read it and we answer it okay and have a good day and i hope to see you in another tutorials okay see you bye bye bye